Following the release of the Henry Stickman collection, I have been asked if I will do the same thing that Puffballs United did and release a Riddle School collection on Steam. The short answer is probably not. I don't want to say it's impossible, because I like the thought, but I would only want to do it if I did it right, and I think it would take way more work than it's worth. So I kind of wanted to go over the full list of reasons why it probably won't happen. Reason number one, I think the first four or five games would need a serious visual overhaul because the art style is dramatically inconsistent. Like, you can clearly see the different skill levels and levels of detail and coloration, line thickness, character designs, proportions. Even the aspect ratio is different in the second game. I think the first game has a different frame rate which is something to consider for all the animations, which would also have to be redone. And because the artwork would have to look better, it would also probably take longer than it took to make in the first place. Number two, all of the programming for all seven games in the series would have to be started from scratch. The functionality of using and combining items and hovering your mouse over buttons on the screen is different in every game. A lot would have to be scrapped to keep things consistent. And in the years that I programmed in Flash, one of the things that was consistently garbage to work with was the audio, because there is no intuitive way to have the volume of music and sound effects change independently of one another. And also you might notice in Riddle Transfer 2 that when a cutscene pauses on a word bubble and you click to play more of the cutscene, any animation on the screen freezes for just a moment every single time, and that is something I can't fix because it's directly related to the way audio works in Flash. So reprogramming the games in software that isn't Flash would be ideal. Number three, nearly all of the music in the entire Riddle School series was made by various artists on the Newgrounds audio portal, and none of those songs were made specifically for Riddle School. They were just musical compositions that anyone was free to use for their free online Flash content. In fact, Blue Sky, the song that is used the most throughout the series, I first heard it in a different and at the time more well-known Flash game. Not only would trying to get legal permission to use so many different songs from so many different composers for a game with a price tag be kind of a mess, as would potentially be the monetary distribution afterwards, but that would feel a little bit like releasing a Mario game with royalty-free music by Kevin MacLeod, you know? Plus, there are other problems, like how repetitive and irritating the music in the first game is, how the second game's music is really overly hyper, and then the music in the ending goes way into the credits, which would not be necessary to have in a collection. Riddle School 4 uses the same music that Riddle School 3 does. I really think the only way to handle it would be to have a new all-original soundtrack made just for the game, and I don't necessarily trust myself to make a soundtrack in the general style of the music that I've already used, keeping the spirit of it and also having it be just as good. And if I didn't make it, I would have to commission someone else to do it, and commissioning someone to make an entire soundtrack like that is not cheap, and it would take a lot of work probably to find someone I can trust who would do the job just the way it needed to be done. There are other copyright concerns with the series, like the various references that I've made, and I would probably have to change those. But in addition to all the changes that I feel like I would have to make, reason number four, there are a lot of changes that I would just want to make. Changes that would require a lot of careful deliberation on my part, like maybe adding some new puzzles, changing some existing ones, improving the flow of the story, maybe having more foreshadowing, making certain things clearer, maybe add a hint system, maybe change the endings, like, a lot of changes that would make an already very long and arduous process even longer. And reason number five for my not wanting to dedicate many months of time and effort into a project like this is that the series is already over, the story is done. I think the retail release of the Henry Stickman collection makes a lot of sense, because not only does it have improved versions of the games that were released for free online, it also has an entire game's worth of content that you can only play by buying the collection. And that entire game's worth of content is the final chapter of the story. If a Riddle School collection existed and was sold, you wouldn't be missing out on any of the story by not buying it. So it's hard to justify it the same way. I think some people are requesting a Riddle School collection because Flash Player is dying at the end of the year and people want to see the series preserved. But reason number six, there's not really a need because it's not going away. Every game in the Riddle School series will continue to be playable in a different format. After the end of this year, you might not be able to play them in a web browser anymore, but you will still be able to download the applications and play them offline. 
The last reason is basically I just think it would be a monumental setback for me as an independent developer, as an artist, storyteller, whatever, to make something I've already made instead of trying to make something new. It would be different if I passionately felt like the series was a waste of potential the way it is now, but I don't. It's not perfect by any means, but I just don't strongly feel like it needs to be anything more than it is. So there you go. Not the most uplifting video, but a video that I felt like was probably good to make nonetheless. Also, thank you for 60,000 subs. That's a lot. And expect some flumpty port-related news soon, hopefully. We'll see. Goodbye!